It's a sunny day in the city of Lagos, and inside the Metropolitan Club, a cooler ambience lends to a warm reception of the good fellas, the members, a who's who of high society. The gallery of Metropolitan Club presidents of yore, living and dearly departed, look down as though to give a nod of approval. To the arrival of the president of Ghana, Nana Kufuado. Pleasantries exchanged, and the high table ascended. The stage is set. Ghana needs that thought of African Renaissance. It wasn't Ghana Renaissance, it was African Renaissance. And Your Excellency, till today, that thought is still alive. I recall in my primary school days, in the 40s, the leading role which the Gold Coast played in the 40s and 50s in liberation of Africa. Now the moment they've all been waiting for, the President of Ghana, who emphasizes the importance of partnership between both countries. It has given us a good sense of how important it is to strengthen our unity and solidarity and has intensified in us the motivation, if any was needed, to be self-reliant. He also strikes a salient chord on regime change in West Africa and security in the sub-region. Unconstitutional regime changes retard the growth of countries. As much as the drivers are largely do domestic, the international dimension can also not be overlooked. Foreign involvement in fomenting unconstitutional changes, often in favor of repressive governments, foreign economic interests, and other would-be geopolitical benefits are also contributory factors. However, the reality is that these sanctions have not been applied uniformly. Whilst we are quick to sanction military coup leaders, civilians who achieve several similar ends via the manipulation of constitutions to remain in power, for example, go without sanctions. A toast and photo ops bring the lunch into a close, and without further aplomb, the president of Ghana takes his leave. Promoting good bilateral relations between Nigeria and Ghana is important for the collective growth of sub-Saharan Africa. A posture that the president of Ghana, Nana Akufo-Addo, has not been shy to enunciate. Reporting from Lagos, Olumide Mukoli, Channels Television News.